तो दोस्तों AMD का नया ग्राफिक कार्ड 9070 XT आ चुका है मतलब मार्केट में ऑलमोस्ट आ चुका है बाहर एंड बहुत सारे यूट्यूबर्स बहुत सारे रिव्यूवर्स के पास इसका यूनिट आ चुका है अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी आर नॉट लकी ना गेट आर हैंड्स ऑन इट बट हम देख सकते हैं रिव्यू कर सकते हैं और यूट्यूबर्स को रिव्यू करते हुए हम देख सकते हैं कि क्या परफॉर्मेंस है एंड खुद जज कर सकते हैं By analyzing how good this is as compared to Nvidia's 50 series of graphic cards, and how much price में आपको क्या performance मिल रही है और similarly आपको Nvidia में क्या performance मिल रही है ये चीजें हम देख लेंगे हमें पता चल जाएगा और भाई ये भी पता चल जाएगा कि क्या prefer करना चाहिए ये या वो let's see let's find it out 9070 XT 9070 XT more frames than a 5070 Ti and apparently तो actually में 5070, 9070, 5070 Ti, 9070 XT. मतलब ये kind of similar range का कार्ड उन्होंने निकाला है AMD डी ने टू कम्पीट विद एनवीडिया बोलो तो भाई कितनी परफॉर्मेंस क्या कैसी मिल रही है let's, let's see. भाई ये देख रहे हो आई साइबर पंक और डेढ़ सौ डॉलर चीपर भी है ओ हाँ ये भी तो हमको दिमाग में रखना है I guess we'll just have to wait and see. As for performance though, they are looking really promising. And I'm not just saying that to hype up the underdog which is AMD. They are actually very strong GPUs. So here we have the 9070 and 9070 XT, the first two new GPUs of AMD's 9000 series. The VRAM setup is the same on both, so it's uh -huh. 16 gigabytes of GDDR6. So all are GB. Good good memory guys, good memory GDDR6. Nice. Ti, but at slower speeds making up that performance difference <coughs> though is the new RDNA dono ki memory 16 gb hai 56 and 64 compute but units compute units or 9070 xt power draw alag hai faster boost clock so 9070 50, 9070 9070 xt 5070 ti <coughs> these are the four gpus that we're looking at today let's start with the 9070 at 1440p high okay. to max okay. settings i tested it against the rtx 5070 which one is the better 550 dollar hmm. gpu Well, it's pretty close, but in most games it's the new AMD 9070. Most of the games oh. here see around a 5 to 10% uplift okay. over 20%. Five to 10 is still two. good. But there are a couple of standouts where the Nvidia card is way faster. Assetto Corsa oh, Competizione, accept. which is a racing sim, favors Nvidia cards massively for whatever reason. I double checked these results of course, cleaned the drivers, even swapped to a different monitor and kept getting the same result. Okay. But otherwise the 9070 isn't looking bad at all. Okay. But I still don't recommend it. What I do recommend though is spending an extra 50 bucks and getting the XT model oh. instead. In F124, $50. Matlab Blade 2. Aise dekha jaye 50 dollar waise asli conversion karoge to 3 4000 but in 200 hi generally hota hai to 5000. Ab agar roughly aapko 5000 mehanga pad raha hai to why will anybody go for 9070? 9070 XT hi loge right? Oh, yeah. Field and even in Cyberpunk as well, it's as fast as Nvidia's 5070 Ti. And that is not the case with 5070 and 5070 Ti. ये दोनों आपस में सिर्फ 50 डॉलर महंगे नहीं हैं. Ti, which is 150 dollars more expensive. AMD themselves <laughs> admit the 9070 XT isn't quite as fast as the 5070 Ti, but it's close enough in most games to justify the price difference between them, unless you exclusively play ACC. असेटो कोर्सा में भाई 100 एफपीएस का डिफरेंस है ये भी मैटर करता है भाई क्या असेटो कोर्सा एनवीडिया के लिए बनी है ऑप्टिमाइज इट एकदम भाई साहब एंड कंपेयरिंग द 9070 XT टू एनवीडिया 5070 शोस जस्ट हाउ फार दैट एक्स्ट्रा 50 बॉक्स विल गो इट्स 15% फास्टर ऑन एवरेज मोस्ट गेम्स सिटिंग अराउंड दैट 20% मार्क विद अ मैसिव 52% इन रेड डेड रिडेम्पशन 2 लेट्स आल्सो नॉट फॉरगेट दैट द 5070 हैज 12 गीगाबाइट्स ऑफ वीरम वर्सेस द 16 गिग्स ऑन द 9070 एंड 9070 XT एट 1440p यू वोंट रन आउट ऑन आइदर बट एट 4k यू माइट रन इनटू सम अच्छा ये सारे 4k के हैं क्या ओ नहीं 2k के हैं 2K के बेंचमार्क्स हैं और 2K पे ब्लैक मिथ वुकॉन्ग विद रे ट्रेसिंग एंड डीएलएसएस या एफ एस आर ऑन सिक्सटी एट इवन ब्लैक मिथ वुकॉन्ग में एनवीडिया ज्यादा तेज है और साइबर पॉन्ग में AMD is faster. I say it is right now. If you were to run out on either but at 4K, you might run into some limits on the 5070. And for I mean, those it's not actually for 4K gaming I mean, this graphic card. You can play but achhe frame rates nahi aayenge to fir you won't enjoy. Bring how much fast the 9070 XT is to the non XT model. I found it to be <clears> around 12%. So 12% extra performance for 9% more money. On paper at least that's money well spent. So 9070 XT 
it's looking like the one. In fact, at 4K in God of War, it's basically Ooh. equal to AMD's previous flagship, the 7900 XTX. Look, AMD's previous generation ke flagship ko beat the 9070 XT is generation ka mid range card. Not even a flagship. So, where will flagship kahan stand? Will it be in 1590? Will it be in the competition? ये देखने वाले बात है क्योंकि स्टार्क डिफरेंस देखो ना एनवीडिया का पिछले जनरेशन का फ्लैगशिप व्हिच इज 4090 और एएमडी का फ्लैगशिप 79 XTX इसमें देखो कितना ज्यादा डिफरेंस है 143 100 बट इस जनरेशन में कुछ चीजें रिजल्ट अलग मिल सकती है मजेदार मजेदार होगा that also lands you around RTX 4080 performance. Both of those GPUs were significantly more expensive just last generation. So 9070 XT for 600 bucks, that is looking extremely impressive. In Forza Horizon 5, again at 4K <coughs> maxed out settings, Oof. it's almost as fast as Nvidia's 5080, which is absolutely Whoa. nuts. In fact, the 1% lows are basically Crazy, right? equal. If you've got a 3080 or a 4070 around that tier of performance or lower, then it's a really nice भाई 3080 जो मेरा है 3080 सॉरी 3080 Ti मेरा बट 3080 Ti से अगर कंपेयर करो तो भाई डबल परफॉर्मेंस मिलेगी 9070 XT एंड प्राइस कितना देना है खाली 549 डॉलर्स फक ब्रो दैट्स इनसेन यू नो द सपोर्ट जंप there are a couple of catches though. First one being AMD's FSR upscaling versus Nvidia's DLSS. In Four. most games mm. out there, generally speaking, DLSS is going to look a little bit better. In fact, mm. in Cyberpunk and Black Myth Wukong. My desire is that DLSS is better. Lag you can see side by side. I can see it. It's difference. not even close. I really hope <coughs> you never have. You can see, bro. There's a difference. Bro. Nvidia is software. It's strong. To hai have to use FSR 3 or 2.1 because it looks terrible. I mean, it's unbelievably over sharpened in these games. It's shimmery. There's tons Ganda. of ghosting. Nvidia aren't perfect either, but it's an area where they've invested a ton more development. And I've got to say it really shows. AMD are releasing a new version though. It's called FSR 4, only available in a few games for now though. I did some brief testing in Black Ops 6 and it does look cleaner than FSR 3. FSR 3 in this game looks pretty soft. FSR 4 looks a lot closer to native. Hopefully AMD can get FSR working well in a lot more games. Hmm, right. If FSR 4 is good, the DLSS 4 is good, then a man can think. But there are some games in so, yeah. Games out there because they really need it. I also <coughs> found really heavy ray tracing to grow that margin between the 9070 XT and the 5070 Ti. So in Cyberpunk, for example, if you have the RT Ultra preset, both cards are pretty similar, like pretty much equal. Hmm. But if you turn on RT Overdrive, which is much heavier, then the AMD card just pretty much tanks. Now, maybe it's a driver bug, maybe it's just because this is a really heavy NVIDIA sponsored title, but for what it's worth, AMD's own testing does show weaker performance once ray tracing is switched on. The other catch is power efficiency, where <coughs> NVIDIA's Blackwell architecture is superior. Although mm. these GPUs are built on a very similar node from TSMC, AMD yeah. overall are less power efficient. I've yet to do any in-depth okay. power testing with a PCAT yet, but for now, looking at power at the wall and monitoring oh, software, maximum NVIDIA dice does off. look like the more dare, I wouldn't worry too much about it though for this tier of GPU. I mean, around the 300 watt mark is perfectly fine for the kind of heat sinks that you're getting here. I also found idle power consumption between them <coughs> to be about equal. I got sent over the power color Red Devils, which are monster cards as you'd expect. The cooling okay. is really impressive and I haven't had a single issue from them. I really do hate to go down the list of things to think about, areas mm. where NVIDIA is like a little bit more impressive. 3D work, Blender is another one. I really tried to run Blender on a 9070 and 9070 XT. AMD even provided a 4.4 beta build. I could not get it to work. It technically opened and I could select the GPUs, but they just would not render. No idea if- I think software issue will be currently maybe, yeah. It's gonna be fixed in the future, I but know. I mean, it's kind of always been like this. If you do actual work with your PC, 3D rendering, engineering, video Nvidia editing, for example, is it is just a much safer pick to go with an Nvidia GPU. Even in programs where both cards technically will run, Nvidia has always had better performance. If you don't do 3D work or like editing with your PC and the games you play are mostly native rendering and you don't like mess around with DLSS or FSR, mm. the 9070 XT you it is good for the money. AMD are absolutely rinsing Nvidia right now when it comes to rasterization output and just the insane. Now, if we talk about raw performance, in raw performance, there is no money in 5070 Ti. It means that it's neck to neck and it's going to be in many cases. But 
फिर वही बात आ जाती है जब आप एनवीडिया के ड्राइवर्स एनवीडिया के सॉफ्टवेयर पार्ट को यूज करना चालू करते हो जैसे डीएलएसएस फोर रिफ्लेक्स लो लेटेंसी रिफ्लेक्स टू और एनवीडिया ब्रॉडकास्ट के मल्टीपल फीचर्स बहुत सारी चीजें वहां पर एनवीडिया पार सुपीरियर है अभी भी एम डी हाई सुख भाई सिंपल सी बात है कर रहे हैं धीरे धीरे इस जनरेशन की बाकी सारी चीजें भी आएंगी जैसे एफ एस और मे बी और भी चीजें आएंगी We'll get there. In price to performance, the 9070 XT, it's an objectively strong GPU. I mean, 600 bucks should feel like it buys you an enthusiast tier upgrade and here it definitely does. I'll also be completely honest, you know, I haven't been a massive fan of AMD GPUs in the past, especially when it comes to launch day testing. My experience has not been good at all. Driver issues, black screens, bugs, some games just refuse to work. Here, I mean, testing this thing was easy. Apart from Blender, which I mean, I kind of expected it not to work and that will likely get up and running at some point. But yeah, otherwise they chewed through absolutely everything. Oh, I find yeah. it really interesting actually that Nvidia do have the superior architecture between them. Nvidia Achha. could offer a higher performing card at the same power level as AMD right here, but they just don't. You know, personally, I can forgive the engineering one. mishaps that they've had with the 5000 series. The missing ROPS, for example, I don't think that was intentional. The <coughs> melting power connector, which we've seen a few times here and there, is that negligence? Yeah, probably. <coughs> but personally, I can see what they're trying to do with a more low profile, small form factor connector. It's just something they need to keep working on and have more safeguards for. What I cannot forgive though, is the sheer greediness, the conscious decision to look at your customers and say, you know what, we could give you a higher performing card, but we're just not going to because we don't need to. Take a look at the 5080, for example. It literally has a nerfed TDP compared to the 4080 Super. Please make that make sense. When you leave yourself open like that, this is what happens. I just really hope there's enough of them at MSRP when they finally launch. Even if you're not looking to pick up a 9070 XT, hopefully this is a big wake up call for Nvidia. Hmm, sahi baat hai. Bhai, competition jab samne se itna strong ho jayega, fir Nvidia bhi like, yaar ab to performance deni padegi. Ab to price kam karna padega. Ab to yahan kuch na kuch extra karna padega. Aur maybe abhi kyunki aapko pata nahi hai abhi 5060 aaya nahi hai, 5060 Ti nahi aaya, 5050 nahi aaya, wo wale cards nahi aaye. To unme aapko kuch acha dekhne ko mil sakta hai. बाकी फिफ्टी एटी तो आ चुका है फिफ्टी एटी टी आई नहीं आया है फिफ्टी एटी टी आई में भी क्या पता कुछ अच्छा देखने को मिले बाद में भी तो नहीं टाइम है उसमें फिफ्टी सीरीज कार्ड्स आर सुपर एक्सपेंसिव नाइनटी सेवेंटी एक्स टी का भी इंडियन प्राइसिंग ढंग से रिवील नहीं हुई है ढंग से पता नहीं चला है मार्केट में भी नहीं आया है जब आ जाएगा तो पता चल जाएगा बाकी कमेंट सेक्शन में बताओ अगर आपको पता है कौन से साइट पे कितने का मिल रहा है आपको ऑफलाइन मार्केट में 9070 सेवेंटी एक्स टी कौन सी कंपनी का कितने का मिल रहा है एंड वर्थ इट लग रहा है कि नहीं देना आप लोग कमेंट सेक्शन में बताओ पता चल जाएगा हमें भी एंड या इफ यू वांट टू सी मोर सच वीडियोस, मोर सच कंटेंट एंड स्टे अप टू डेट विद गेमिंग बी एट गेम्स बी एट गेमिंग पेरिफेरल्स गेमिंग टेक मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब जाते जाते लाइक बटन दबा देना